My name is Rob Zimmer, and I have owned and operated Spectrum Advertising located in Imperial County since 1989. A large part of Spectrum is to facilitate public relations for clients such as the County of Imperial. I'm very proud to say the then Imperial County Board of Supervisors contracted me and my company to represent the County of Imperial as their public information officer for eight years. The New River and Salton Sea have always been important issues for Imperial County. In the early 1990s, I was tasked to attend bicultural task force meetings in the U.S. and Mexico for the cleanup of the New River. I was also tasked to participate in the formation of the Salton Sea Task Force, which later became the Salton Sea Authority. Issues of concern our area have always been a passion of mine for more than 30 years. To bring more attention to this unique area, I founded CommunitySpectrum.org, which was originally created in 2006 to showcase our area's unique community to other areas. Knowing that most agricultural drainage water, also known as tailwater, was about to cease in 2017, I created and submitted a plan to mitigate dust as the Salton Sea shoreline recedes. In 2018, Community Spectrum featured a story called The Receding Salton Sea, which after that, we started a website called saltonseawatch.com. It was made so our viewers can see for themselves what is happening at the Salton Sea on a regular basis. As a past contracted public information officer for the County of Imperial, I have served on many local, state, and federal committees tasked with the goal of improving the quality of life for our citizens in Imperial County. My contracted service with the County of Imperial ended just before the 2000s. A historic agriculture to urban water transfer agreement was signed in 2003 to facilitate the growing need for more water to service San Diego County. As part of the water transfer agreement, local landowners and farmers were required and provided incentives to implement water conservation practices to mitigate the negative impact to Imperial County for the water transfer. Agricultural runoff stopped flowing to the Salton Sea in 2018. Local landowners and farmers were provided more than 15 years to implement water conservation practices. I have lived and worked in Imperial Valley for most of my life. My father was a farmer who graduated from Cornell. I worked on the family farm and financed my degree in plant science by harvesting cotton. Season after season of picking cotton near the Salton Sea, I could witness for myself how the morning winds would bring in a haze from the northwest that would later in the day mix with a haze out of the south. I used to water ski and fish at the Salton Sea in the 1960s. Community Spectrum, which manages SaltonSeaWatch.com, videographers live and work in Imperial County. They saw for themselves how the sea was receding, and as you can see in this video, it does not look good. The Salton Sea is the largest inland body of water in California. As water recedes, it exposes more and more shoreline of toxic elements that will impact populations as the wind blows. To help mitigate the potential health issues arising from small, potentially contaminated particles of dust from the Salton Sea, also known as a playa, and becoming airborne with possibility of becoming inhaled by humans, Spectrum has developed a plan that can be implemented immediately. Spectrum's plan is to curate a liquid droplet spray containing primarily water combined with a small amount of certified organic dust control compound. The compound already exists and is available today. This compound, when dispersed with water, binds to smaller PM2 particles and the particulate matter then adheres to larger matter and makes it harder for it to blow and become airborne. Through a series of stories, Community Spectrum will update our viewers with the latest local happenings at the Salton Sea. Please subscribe to the Community Spectrum to stay up to date and be sure to share our stories.